everyone welcome to my channel we're doing your reading how are you how are the gorgeous the gorgeous sal is barely hanging how is the mercury retrograde dealing with you guys are you dealing with it or it's dealing with you there is two ways that this is gonna go mercury says so okay so let's deal with it instead of it dealing with us all right so uh, please do remember, I combine my reading with Sidereal Astrology. Yay! There should be like a background music like that, you know? So that we don't do those timeless, useless reading, which I did before. Okay, yay! Okay. And that's why we do what we call upgrade, upgrade. Yes, timeless is useless. And that's why I combined it with Sidereal Astrology. So sometimes there's not much accurate tarot here. There's more astrology. Okay, and everything you need is going to be in the description box below. Please do remember, titles of the reading does not connect with the first part of the reading because we need to see the whole reading first manifest. Got it? Thank you. If you follow Western astrology, please calm your T-I-T-S and you can go to the exit sign down on the left alley. Thank you. No, I'm just kidding with you guys. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Here we go. Six of Pentacles, you pay my bills, you pay my telephone bills. I don't think you do. Katapusan na, darling. A trenta. Okay, so here it is. Every end of the month, your soulmate returns. Is it? Or it's the landlord. It's the telephone bills. It's the Meralco. We call it Meralco in my country. Meralco. Okay. <laughs> Con Ed here in America. Yes. Okay. So here, I feel like just today, okay, because this is not timeless. Today, when you're watching it, mm -hmm, next 24 hours, it's about billing. Billing, 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 sorting, sorting, paying, paying, paying. Okay. All the money that comes in is coming out. <laughs> it's coming out. It's true. The cards will not lie. Mm -hmm. I'm not even combining it yet with astrology. Now, of course, sixth house, which is Virgo. The sun is in Virgo. So this is what we have to deal with. Things that we owe. The debts. Okay. Mars is there. Caraca for what? Debts again. When I would say uh, Karka is about significator. Okay. So anywhere in your chart, okay, if you put Mars there, chances are you may have debts there, especially if it's a money house. We don't want it in the money house. What is money house? I made a, a video about that. Okay. So make sure you watch my astrology videos. It's the 11th, the 2nd, and the 8th. Mars 8th is money of others. So you may use other people's money and then, you know, get debts out of it. You In Mars in second house, then same thing. You owe money to family. Mm -hmm. Mars in the 11th, then friends probably owes money to you. Okay? So that's how easy it is. So. Now, how do we get rid? Oh, I like remedies. Okay, I talk about this all the time. How do we remedy the dead cell? Okay. One, it depends. Do you want deep occult or you, you're not, you're, you get too scared if I ask you to get a, a live plant at the backyard? Okay, you're too scared for that one. Okay, so, <laughs> so let's just do the basic. If you exercise actively, push, 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 you know, sweat it out, sweat it out. Okay, Mars gets burns out there. So the more you burn it out, the less the karma of debt. Okay, now. The question here is, how consistently can you go to the gym and burn it out? That's how easy it is. Easy remedy. Don't even need to go to the gym. Probably just at home. If you have a home gym. <laughs> Bougie. Okay. Home gym. Then you definitely have money. You don't have debts. Okay. Now, I, I don't concur on that one. Okay. <laughs> Six of Pentacles here. Okay. So very easy. Easy, easy remedy for having debts. Okay. Now, there are other things, but I don't want to share it here on YouTube because it does involve lighting 20 candles in the middle of the dark forest. No, I'm kidding. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't even know where a forest is. <laughs> Ace of Wands, creativity. All right, so where is this spark of creativity right now? So this can be a spark of business idea with the Ace of Wands. Oh, I like to talk business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so Ace of Wands can be, you know, of course, romantic connection. Someone's coming back. And that's so redundant. You can watch any other readers. Oh, someone's coming back. Everybody. Okay. <laughs> so I just have to call out everything. Everybody's prediction is the same. Mine is different. Because this is about your creativity. Your juices are coming out. Juices. Okay. But it's how you consistent you are. 
you will have the creativity, but the question is, do you have the consistency? Pa, put that on a shirt, right? Okay, I'm always creative, I'm doing this, but do you wake up in the morning and really plant that seeds and wait for it to grow? Mm -hmm. The difference of people who are successful, okay, is they have good placement of sun. <laughs> it's true, some people are just gifted, which I posted it in the other day. Where is the sun place? If you want to be successful, we need to see the sun. Because the sun is recognition. And successful people do get recognized for the things that they create. Mm -hmm. So that's why I encourage people every time, get your chart. Ace of Swords, victory. New ideas. You know what's good here is like we're not picking up the Mercury retrograde where it's an ex coming back, where it's someone that you haven't forgiven, a family. Nah. These people here are thriving. Whoever I'm reading for, you're growing. You got your business permit over here. You're signing out the contract, the deeds. You're winning. The crown over there, okay, for me in traditional tarot, because the crown symbolizes, okay, victory. Mm-hmm. That's that one. But this is also um, entitled. You're entitled for this victory, meaning it's already written in the stars, okay? The swords are, uh, this is uh, the thoughts. So you're, you're, you're smart, can be street smart. Okay, let's not go for love, Sal. Thank you. Okay. We all know those street smart. <laughs> when it comes to love, that's your Achilles. Okay, oh, I was able to pronounce that. But I don't know how to pronounce the ankle. Is it ankle or uncle? <laughs> okay, here we go. You got a six of swords. I don't want to talk to anybody right now, Sal. Because I got big ideas and I want to be consistent at it. Good, 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 good. You can't go to your seventh house of partnership without paying your dues in a sixth house. Everybody wants to have a partner. Do you even have a job, six house? <laughs> That's the first question of your grandma and mom, right? What does he do? <laughs> um, he wants to... Okay, so he doesn't have a job. I mean, like, just, you know... <laughs> okay, X, X, X for the, for the family right there. So you, okay, you're thriving because you know where to focus. The focus right now with the sun, where the sun is, that's our focus, is in Virgo, 13 degrees. So work, 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 okay? Mars is there. Let's pay our debts, let's be consistent. We like Mars in the sixth house, by the way. Dustana houses, okay? Six, eight, 12, right? Mm -hmm. It's called Dustana, okay? So um, with the six, or, six of swords over here, it shows that Anybody who's like not talking to you, you could care less because it's like you have uh, you have a purpose, Ace of Swords. People have purpose, don't waste their time. Okay, you got an Ace of Pentacles, gorgeous, God-given opportunity. Yes, okay, being handed to you. Now the question is like, will you accept this? Now you are gonna get a loan also, Six of Pentacles with Ace of Pentacles. Ma money is gonna come to you, big money, big money. As money comes out, money will come in. Oh, thank you, so thank you. Okay, we all need that. Trust me, okay. trust, trust, not trust me, okay. trust me. The accent is thick, okay. Six of Pentacles here with the Ace of Pentacles. Where do we find money, Sal? Where do we find money in our chart? D2, aura chart, very easy. Where do we find our job? D10, I believe so. D10, we look at the strength, D10. In D10, okay, I forgot how, how it's called in Sanskrit, but in D10, we look at the strength of Saturn and Mars, okay. Saturn and Mars has to be in good dignity, okay? D10. So D2 auto chart, you only have, uh, that's very easy. Um, we can see how money comes in and who takes your money, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so that's that one. I've seen people's chart. Doesn't need to work, but money just comes in, okay? Blessed, blessed be, blessed be for these people. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, and, there, and then there is us, you and me. <laughs> Gotta clock in every day. <laughs> And every day for the rest of their life. The Shamsha. Oh, there you go. The Shamsha. The Shamsha. So Google the Shamsha. Don't worry. I got you guys. Soon, soon, soon. There's going to be something that will give your, uh, you know, help you with your chart. Okay. So money's coming in. That's good. This is this is a very, very good uh, um, beginning for a new life for you. Down payment for a house. Down payment for a new car. Ace of Pentacles. This is what it is. You got that. Eight of Wands, you're moving fast okay, in life. You're in the express lane. So if you're in the supermarket, you're express checkout. You don't wait and then, you you know, not at all sell. I don't wait. This is when I say strike while the iron is hot. Okay, strike while the iron is hot. This is a time where you keep pushing. You keep going. All right, Eight of Wands. 
Don't let any kind of Mercury retrograde, a relationship, this and that. No, now is not the time for that, Hilda. Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles, you stop all communication because what? You know that in order for you to progress, you have to put things to the side. Everything goes to the back burner because my life is a priority. Because you don't get all this opportunity. A business opportunity, uh, the ones over here is creative opportunity, a travel opportunity with the Ace of Swords. So if they don't want to talk to you, you're saying, say, I don't even want to talk to them. So you got the moon card. Okay. I believe there's a next, uh, what, full moon, October 6th, something like that. I can't, I don't, I don't uh, quote me on that one, but we have to check um, if it's October 6th. I don't know what kind of moon it is. Mm. So with the moon card and the six of swords, still a lot of, uh, well, you know, in a way, hidden stuff from the person that you're dealing with. They stop communicating with you, Knight of Pentacles, ever since you treat them like just arm's length. So if I were to put this into love connection, um, you stop talking, they stop talking because you're very distant right now. Everything is uncertain. Six of Swords with the Moon card. You've been taking care of business and work. Been traveling, Ace of Wands. So if it is allowed in your country, there is a uh, travel over here because you travel for business, okay? I only travel business, so. <laughs> Thank you. All right. First class, what's your name? Mm -hmm. No, I use mileages. I okay. <laughs> love that even. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles here, this is when Rahu is in Taurus, which makes all money become reality. Uh, everything becomes tangible. That's why we want Rahu in Taurus itself, okay? So things that you work hard for, this is the time. Everything becomes solid, but it does take uh, time for it to manifest, okay? The temperance over here, of course, very cliche. Any other, you would know already how to read it when I when we see temperance. Reconciliation. <laughs> so you know that already. Ace of Pentacles with the temperance. You, I feel like just meeting yourself in the middle where I need to see myself grow. I need to heal myself first with the temperance. Gorgeous. Okay. With the magician. There you go. I want to see. I wanted to see this because it only means that all this opportunity is manifesting. Now, in uh, in actuality, the 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 manifestation of this timing wise, okay, this opportunity will be handed to you. This is all starting, but until October 18. Okay, so I need you to grab that opportunity. Everything that comes to you right now is a God given opportunity. You've never been closer to the heavens with this. Okay, meaning closer to your dreams. As above, so below. Mm -hmm. So this is basically, it's happening up in the stars. Now it's coming down, okay? I feel like the Mercury retrograde brings you business, brings you career, brings you direction in life. Good, good, good. So I need you to continue your spiritual practices. This is your sadhana. It says the temperance. Continue praying to the gods, your angels, your guides. And I feel like it has to manifest in both. Meaning you go up there to the heavens and then you come down here, okay? What are you, a fallen angel? Well, there's only one fallen angel. That's what I know. <laughs> and it rules the underworld. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fallen angel. Angel of mine. What's that song? Love that. R&B. Please bring it back. Okay. Stop with the twerks. Just saying. Okay. <laughs> Love R&B. Mm. Okay. Uh, the, okay. I'm a Vasha. So it is new moon. New moon, darling, on October 6th. Let me teach you. It's not full moon. Okay. So now we know. Okay, so it's the new moon on October 6th. Mm -hmm. It's called Amavasya. Um, when it's the new moon, it's the perfect time to start everything new. Okay? New you, who you. Ah, uh, I remember pre, you know, what, uh, before the world has come to this situation that we're in. I had the new me, new you, who you. A wonderful, wonderful workshop. Ah, uh, miss those people. Okay, anyhow, with the five ones over here, Mercury, nostalgia. You see that? You see that? Nostalgia? Don't talk to your ex. <laughs> five of ones over here. Okay, five of ones here. Expect, of course, when you're in transit like this, when the karma is strong, there's going to be bam, 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 bam. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay? So what I need you to be is like to be Mani Pacquiao over here. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay? Left hook, left hook. Okay? With the five of ones over here, you need to... Stay focused because there will be obstacles. There will be obstacles. I'm giving you a heads up. So here it is. When there's obstacle, you change lane, switch lane, switch lane. Okay. And you have your queen of wands. Okay. Just being honest. If they're not talking to you, that's the mistress. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> there's someone here. 
Moon and the Queen of Wands. But this is also if you are a practitioner of the mystics, the occult, then this um, you know, this new moon is the perfect time for you to do your spiritual practices again. Okay. Um, normally it is advised, um, you know, for me, I would what I would suggest for you is to work with water during the time because money is related to Chandra, which is the moon, um, which is the cash flow. Mm -hmm. So I need you to um, if you have, uh, you know, make sure that you have a basin of water full, you know, um, or if you have a tub, make sure you put some water in it and then just fill it up, okay, during that uh, full moon. It does invite, okay, um, income into your life. Or better yet, if you want a continuous cash flow, you get one of our waterfalls. Waterfalls, is that called? No, fountain. Fountain. <laughs> I don't sell waterfalls, okay. <laughs> fountain. There. So we have it on our website. You will see it. It's a fountain. So I've used that and people use it. Okay? Uh, and then you can see how to use the fountains that we have to bring more abundance in your life. If you remember, I keep talking about that. That's still available. You know, we have it on our site. So do check it out. Okay. If you're manifesting more wealth into your life. Okay. Now I'm going to continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. If you need consultation, we're available down there. Um, if you need all the amazing mystical products before October 6th, hopefully there is time to ship your order. Let me see. Because uh, I don't want you to get in trouble where it doesn't come in time. Oh, darling, we're pushing it. It's already, I didn't know that it's the 30th. Um, and the full, the new moon is October 6th. I'm not sure. We can't guarantee the shipping. But if you do it today, we'll try our best. Okay, put it in the notes. I need this before full moon. And we will try our best, okay? Because if you're manifesting with uh, with the mystics, okay? Thank you very much, guys, for watching. I wish you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. These are good cards. Energies are good. You know why? Let me tell you. Okay. When Mercury goes retrograde, it has a five-day, you know, in, going in, and then it's five days that where it's a little bit shaken baby syndrome, basically. We're all shaken baby syndrome here right now. What is shaken baby syndrome? Google it. Don't ever do that to a baby. Okay. So, but right now the planets are doing that to us. Okay. So we're being, uh, you know, we're being knock off our feet just to, you know, to gain more, uh, how to call this perspective in life. Gorgeous times ahead of us. That's what I can tell you. Right now, we just have to grab the opportunity. All right. Stay gorgeous and lovely. All right. I'll see you guys again. And follow me in Extended as we continue to manifest. I'll teach more ma magic ways. You want magic? I'll teach you in the Extended. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. I'm, I'm going to teach you. With a laugh though. Okay? I'm kidding with my laugh. I'll see you guys. Bye.